and welcome to the Vaults of Terror. My name is Ed and today we're going to be continuing our Space Marines Chapters videos with a look at the Lamenters. Now the Lamenters are a chapter from the 21st Cursed Founding. Now this means that they have quite the poor reputation amongst the Imperium and have had quite the bad luck since their creation. So today I'm going to go over the history of the Lamenters and a little bit of their organisation just to show you exactly why these Space Marines are quite well renowned within the Warhammer 40,000 universe. So the Lamenters are a blood Angel's descendant, so they are descended from the Sons of Sanguinius and have his gene seed. Now they are most notable for siding with the rebel forces during the Badav War, but were granted the Emperor's forgiveness at the end of the war and rejoined the Imperium. Now their chapter master, as far as we know, is Malakim Phoros, possibly deceased, although I'll explain why later. Now they don't have a homeworld as they're a fleet-based chapter, and their, and their flying fortress monastery is Mater Lacrimarum. Now currently their status is that they are lost, which explains why their chapter master may be dead. We know at last count they had roughly 300 space marines, but as of this moment we do not know how many Lamenters there are still in the Warhammer 40,000 universe and even if they still exist. Now as... Now, their history, as I mentioned, is that they are a successor chapter of the Blood Angels, and they were part of the 21st Cursed Founding. Now, what this means is that the 21st Cursed Founding, if you've not seen some of my other videos, are a founding where the Imperium attempted to remove some of the genetic deficiencies that had grown up in the gene seed of some chapters through repeated succession, and were trying to stabilise them in some way to make them more efficient warriors. Now, in the case of the Lamenters, what they're trying to do is remove the genetic curse which resided in the psyche of the Blood Angels and their successors, which was the Black Rage and the Red Thirst. Now, if you want to learn more about those two genetic curses, then you'd need to go to my Blood Angels video, and that should explain it for you. Now, they were apparently successful during the 21st founding, as the Lamenters seem not to have any of those flaws when they first became a full-fledged chapter. However, what seemed to happen, although this only became apparent later, is that they transferred one curse for another. For whilst they have a long history of being effective and well-intentioned in their service to the Imperium, the Lamenters are quite simply burdened with what appears to be an absolutely massive level of misfortune and bad luck. Now their misfortune has sent them on more desperate defences and last stands than any other chapter of their age, and they've had to accept these losses with symbols of grief and lamentation. Although if you call your chapter the Lamenters, they're bound to have have something like this happen to them. A little bit on their history. Originally when they were founded, of course, they didn't have the curse apparent, so the Sons of Sanguinius were quite happy for them. However, quickly their founding became known as the Cursed Founding due to what was happening to all the other chapters that were a part of it. And so many among the Imperium started to distrust the Lamenters. N not rightfully so, they were actually quite efficient and very well intentioned as I mentioned. But because of their association with the 21st Founding, they were considered to be dangerous to be around and so very few fought alongside them. Now whilst the discussions about the 21st Founding started to become quite heated amongst chapters and the Imperium, the the Lamenters decided to move to the western fringes of the Imperium, taking on a solitary crusade in order to liberate some of the planets on the western fringes that weren't yet in the light of the Imperium. However, they were called back to the Imperium to repel one of the Black Crusades that spilled forth from the Eye of Terror, which, if you don't know, is an attack by a multitude of Chaos forces, usually led by Abaddon the Despoiler of the Black Legion. Now, I'll go more into that in our Chaos video, so I won't go over the Black Crusade here. However, all we know is that whilst they were fighting the Black Crusade, the Mortificators chapter, one of their brother Space Marine chapters, refused to fight alongside them because they were a 21st founding chapter, and so they abandoned the defence of the planet Corellia whilst the Black Legion descended upon the planet. The Lamentus, whilst considered cursed, were still very much defenders of the Imperium and stalwart in their duty, and so decided to remain behind and defend the Imperial world, despite the loss of their brother Mortificators. This meant by the time relief arrived, although the planet had held out, only 200 Battle Brothers of the Lamentus remained, after which the survivors of this campaign immediately left the planet when the planet was liberated and then were caught in a warp storm and for many years were considered lost because they were not seen for many hundreds of years. Later they returned from the warp and were considered reunited united with the Imperium. After being cleared of any taint, they were sent back into active duty, and they actually returned to the Galactic Core, being reassigned by the High Lords of Terror in the mid-41st millennium. This led to them being alongside the Astral Claws and the Mantis Warriors when they were when they were tasked to defend the Maelstrom, a warp rift into the galaxy very similar to the Eye of Terror. 
This group of Space Marine chapters became known as the Maelstrom Wardens. They were quite a tight-knit brotherhood, and these chapters were more friendly to the Lamenters than any had been previously due to their cursed founding status. And this friendship, unfortunately, was misused because the Astral Claws, as you may know, were led by Lord Huron, the tyrant of Badab. And of course, later down the line, the Astral Claws instigated the Badab War, drawing the Lamenters and the Mantis warriors in with them to an armed conflict with the wider Imperium. The Lamenters themselves were actually unwilling allies, unwilling to fight the Imperium because of their perceived bonds to the brother chapters who were assaulting them, really unaware of the true motives behind Lord Huron's cessation from the Imperium, i.e. he had been corrupted by chaos. Now, rather than firing on their former allies who were attacking them, the Lamenters used their numbers and their tactical manoeuvres to avoid conflict altogether and drive attackers off through sheer shows of force as opposed to actually killing any of their brother space marines. However, the loyalists who perceived them as traitors were less willing to pull their punches and the Minotaurs actually found and assaulted their fortress monastery. The Lamenters returned to defend the fortress monastery and ended up losing much of their chapter, again the pool of their fighters falling to about 300 before they ceded the battle and were taken out of the Badab War. Once the war was over, the loyalists discovered the motivations of the Lamenters, which were not to secede the Imperium, only to fight because they believe others were trying to impose on their fellow chapter's sovereignty. Because of their reasoning, the chapter was granted the Emperor's forgiveness, and sent on a 100-year penance crusade in order to make up for the lack of faith they had had in the Imperium, and the crusade led them straight into the jaws of High Fleet Kraken, which had recently entered the Milky Way. The Lamenters fought a hopeless battle, defending planets such as Malvalion and Devlan from the invading Tyranids. They took heavy losses in return, and the last known census of the chapter reported them with only three companies of Lamenters remaining, which was around 300 marines again. Now whilst they met with success during these battles, recently they have fallen off the radar so to speak, and any attempts to contact them by their father chapter the Blood Angels have met with little success, meaning that it is unlikely that they still exist as a chapter because they just cannot be found in the Imperium, although of course we know they have been lost before and returned. Now, moving on to a little bit about their organisation. Now, they were cursed with very poor luck, however they didn't suffer from the Black Rage or the Red Thirst. Because of this, their organisation is more codex adherent compared to the other Sons of Sanguinius, although their isolated crusades meant that they were more used to fighting alone rather than integrating with other Imperial forces. They are also a very pragmatic chapter, so tended to use quite direct hit and run tactics on the enemy rather than using guile or going in head to head in pitched battles against the enemy, knowing that that is not where their strength lay. Now culturally they did lack contact with their brother space marines from the Blood Angels descent, and so in both a practical sense and a philosophical sense they have very little in common with their brother chapters. They use more codex standard equipment and have fewer terminator suits of armour because they have lost so many during the wars that they fought in. Now they do have an apothecary department that shares some traits with the Blood Angels. Their apothecary is having a spiritual role as the Calyx, who ministers to the Lamenters both spiritually and medically. So that's everything I have on the Lamenters. Of course, there is a little bit more information floating around, so if you do think there's anything I've missed that needs to be covered, do put it into the comments section below. And that was one of our last docketed Space Marine chapter videos, which means that although we are still doing them, we now need you to keep voting in the comments below for the next chapters to be seen. Of course, we have done quite a few chapter videos before, so if you're unsure if we've done one already, do check the channel page and you will see whether or not we do have a chapter video on a chapter that you are interested in. Now, next time, we're finally moving on to dealing with the regiments of the Imperial Guard to go along with our Imperial Guard videos. So if you do have a specific Imperial Guard regiment that you want to see next time, then don't hesitate to put it in the comments below. Or it would be good if you go to the Vox Relay, the Vaults of Terror forums, which will be linked in the description below, which also have an area for you to vote for specific Imperial Guard regiments, which will help us sort of keep a tally of what's going on. So that's everything we needed to mention today. See you next time on the Vaults of Terror. <laughs>